editing elements in a reference file. There's multiple ways we can do that. One way we can do that is if we open up our reference dialog box. One way is we can figure out what file that particular geometry is at and then go into that file. So for this example here, what we're going to do, I'm going to change my highlight mode to boundary just for right now. We have this guardrail right through here in the end section. Well, it's no longer needed. It was needed before, but it's no longer needed. So if I come in here and I use my delete tool, I can come in here and try to delete it all day long, but nothing's going to happen. So I need to get into that file to make the edits. If I know what file it's in, of course I can do a file open, navigate to that particular section, delete out those items, and then the next time I open up this particular sheet, those changes will reflect to the sheet where that guardrail won't be there anymore, or if it's been modified and so forth. Another way we can do it is, let's say we had no idea where this geometry is at. Well, if I come in here and I use my, you can use, either use your delete tool or the element selection tool and you hover over top of it it'll show you that it's elements in a read-only reference what the item is what level it's on and also what sheet it's on what DGN file which this one here says plan underscore route 133.dgn or another way you can do it is I'm gonna change my highlight mode to highlight and I come in here I can go through here and select these files until I see it highlight and now we see that it's highlighted so it's in my plan underscore route 133 dgn so I know that geometry is there so I could come in there do a file open and then navigate to it or I could come in here and if I have it selected right here I could also do a tools exchange and what that will do is actually exchange me directly into this file right here this file right here with the same zoom ratio of what I have right now and then I can come in there and make my edits to that particular area that I need to so that's another way you could do it or there's also another way where you don't have to physically go into the file doing a file open or exchange where you can stay in this particular file but still make the changes to this geometry that's located inside this particular file right here and to do that is if you do a tools activate and whenever you do a tools activate and I close down my reference dialog box you'll notice as you do a fit view everything inside the file and all and also all your reference files that were attached to the sheet are ghosted out so right now even though we're still located in this sheet you're going to be making changes to this sheet right here where it says view one default what the location is plan underscore route133.dgn so physically you're working inside this file even though you still have this file opened up so now I can come in here zoom into my area make the changes that I need to do to it and I'm just going to delete this out for this example delete out that one delete out that one delete my end section maybe I had a couple other lines that I did not need also I'm going to go ahead and delete those if I'm finished making my changes to it I can come back into my reference dialog box I can come back in here and do a tools deactivate or I think you can right click over it also and do a deactivate you can do it that way too and now we're finished and we've made the changes to that particular file even though we were still inside this file so that's another way you can come in there and make changes to those items that are located underneath the reference file without physically opening up the file and getting into it but it's a personal preference depending on how you want to make the changes to the file if you need to do that and like I said if we have this particular sheet reference to other sheets like a traffic control sheet or a road control sheet or a special sheet or whatever the changes that I did there it's going to be reflected on all those sheets that this particular file is referenced back to so now if we're finished with it we can close this down 
And whenever we do a file open or close out, I'll just do a file close just to kind of show you this. If I close out a file, you're going to get a box that says, do you want to save this file that we're in? And also the file that you made changes to, which you, you made changes to this file. So it's going to prompt you, do you want to make, save the changes to that file also? So of course we just click on yes. And then now we're finished. And since we did a file close, it's going to bring up the MicroStation Manager. If you want to go to another file that you could, or if you want to close out of it, you can click on cancel and it'll exit out of MicroStation. Depending on what you want to do. So those are some of the options that you can utilize to edit elements inside a reference file.